Hello all, in this video we will see how to use SSR solid state release as compared to the mechanical release. Here you can see a sugar cube release, just got mechanical contact inside on uh, switching on this mechanical contact will provide the uh, load contact. This is a heavy ampere mechanical relay, you can see a coil. When the coil is energized, the physical contact will move and uh, uh, switch on the load but in SSR there is no physical contact uh, this is no contact release and which enables high speed and high frequency operation there are single channel two channel four channel and eight channel release uh, instead of uh, mechanical contacts it has got electronic circuit advantage is that it switches on in microseconds and uh, it is zero volt trigger is also available and high voltage trigger is also available you can apply zero volt to trigger in uh, mechanical release uh, there are three contacts one common one normally closed and normally open but in SSR there is only a contact there is only a switch the connection uh, details we'll see in this uh, video this uh, SSR utilizes ohm run release. This operating current is 16 milliampere and maximum load is 2 ampere only at 240 volts. So you can maximum provide a load of around 400 to 500 watts. And uh, if you measure the uh, ohms of the contact, it will be open. It will be in meg range initially. There is also high current SSRs, which we will see in the next video. This is 25 ampere DC to AC and there is also 60 ampere, 40 ampere SSRs, high current SSRs. In this video, we will see this 4 channel relays, 4 channel SSR. This has got uh, DC in for uh, 5 volts supply and 4 trigger pins and the output of the each relay is provided at the PBT connectors. The contacts are provided at the top as screw terminals. Now let us connect the 5 volt supply. We have a power source, 15 volt input and this power source green PCB converts it to uh, 12 volt and 5 volt. We take the 5 volt output and connect it to, to DC plus and minus. And for low level triggering, we are uh, taking the ground uh, signal wire, ground wire and then trigger it to uh, each SSR. Each SSR input, we trigger it with uh, zero level. You can see the LED on and you do not hear any click sound as in mechanical relays. But the contact is made and load is on. You can measure it with the multimeter. If you trigger the SSR, the output will go low. That is, uh, it will become 0 ohms. That is the contact. Now let us see how to connect a load. For demo purpose, let us use the fourth channel of this uh, fourth channel SSR board. The top one uh, PBT is the connector where the contact is provided. We will be using a bulb load. The bulb has got two wires, phase and neutral. I have separated out the phase and neutral wire like this from the two pin main score. And we can cut either the phase or the neutral wire. Let us cut the phase wire and uh, uh, remove the sleeve and connect this uh, two wires to the contact. So the contact is made through the SSR. So when SSR is triggered, this uh, will make a contact like this, as if the bulb is uh, connected directly to the uh, power source. So let us connect these two wires uh, to the contact, that is the fourth channel uh, PPT connector. And let us uh, provide the AC supply. Uh, be cautious once the power is uh, ac power is uh, provided do not touch the ssr as uh, it is very dangerous so now trigger the uh, trigger it with the low that is a ground uh, signal you can see the ssr is making contact and load bulb is switching on now let us try this with the esp32 but esp32 is 3.3 volt level so the low level will trigger the bulb but the high level will not switch off the uh, switch off the bulb so let us use the uh, arduino uno esp32 is not matching otherwise you have to use a level shifter in arduino uno let us upload the simple code 
that is at uh, digital pin 7 we have uh, at digital pin 7 we are triggering the ssr and switching on the bar of the bulb thank you for watching